First off, it's good to be back. Topic for today is American Muslim men who go back home to the Muslim countries and they get married to Muslim women that wear the headscarf and cover their hair. This is my depiction of them when they come from their country here. I'm gonna go ahead and go to school. I'm gonna drive a car. I have so much stuff I wanna do, I can't believe it. I'm so Americanized, I'm more American than American Pie, but you can't tell that by my accent. Hold on ladies, isn't that too fast to be American? Oh yeah, and one lady, one Muslim woman who came from back home, she said, guess what? My daughter doesn't even know any of her language. The only thing she knows is English. And they worry about the tight clothing that they wear. I wear tight clothing, tight shirts. You might see me with, and I got a lot of makeup, tons and layers of paint on my face. You probably think I'm a portrait, the painted one. And you might see me wearing the, the hijab now, but I'm gonna take it all off and I'm gonna wear a bikini. So that I am officially American. Today you might see me with you, but tomorrow you, you might see me sitting next to you in a bar. That's how American I am. I'm more American than American Pie. And I'm gonna put my foot up here at my husband's mouth. Cause I'm the boss now, I'm the man, I'm the one who wears the pants. And he wears the panties. One lady, and this is another one, when I compiled my data, people, so I want you to know that this is true facts that did happen. One lady, she got married to an American citizen, and this is how she portrayed herself to her guests. Here's the table full of food for you all, and I'm so nice, and I'm such a sweet woman. I'm a sweet woman. I love you guys all. I'm going to be the best hostess. But behind closed doors, people, you don't know nothing about me. I'm the wickedest witch you ever seen. You know what I do to my mother-in-law? I starve her. I beat her. And she's on a wheelchair, too. You know she needs medication. But what do I do? I don't even give her medication for months. And I call myself Muslim. This came off the boat. All American girl. What else do I do? Not only do I starve her, and I'll make food from her money, and I'll throw it in the trash right in front of her so she gets upset. She can't say anything because, you know, if she says something, I'll slap her right in her face. And I'll have my kids do the same too because I have done no. that before. I have my kids slap her in the face, beat her, kick her in her wheelchair. Even, even almost drop her off her wheelchair. No. <laughs> I could tell you all that and laugh about it. But you guys don't even see that. I'm so glad because then you would take the wrong picture of me. Yeah, hey, yeah, my mother-in-law, she supports us, supports the whole family. But why should I give her a dime of respect? I own this place. I call the shots. I'm the man of the house. And my husband, has the, who is the American citizen who married me, I stick my shoe up his mouth. And if, I, if he opens up his mouth with me, I'll take his shoe and slap him right in the face with it. <laughs> Here you guys thinking I'm the all this American girl, huh? Guess I got that from my jeans. Well, another thing I want to tell you guys about myself is that I taught my kids to do the same to their grandmother. I even taught them to take, she had like, my mother-in-law had a little, uh, like a necklace, and it had like a little pouch where she puts her money in there. I told my kids to go in there, grab that thing, and take all her money, not even leave her with a cent. But people, I don't, you know what? 
I don't even have my accent anymore. My kids speak all English. So I'm so American. I'm the American girl, like I said before. So there's a Muslim. I'm so nice. There's my other side that you never knew before, right? Okay, people, those are one of the examples of the Muslim women who come from abroad back here. All American. And there's another lady who's also American, who also Muslim, came from her country, who got married to a Muslim man. When she had her son, she threw him, she was upset with her husband, and she threw him on the ground like he was a basketball. And what did she do to her mother-in-law when she, she told her something to benefit her? Like, my daughter-in-law, do this, you could do this better. She told her, if you don't get out of my house right now, I'm going to call the police on you. How's that for an American girl, huh? The ones with the order that, and not to, I don't want to forget now, this lady was wearing a hijab when she came to off the boat from her Muslim country. Maybe I shouldn't say both, that's kind of offensive, huh? But she was wearing, she came from her Muslim country, I don't want to offend anybody, and she was wearing hijab, a scarf, and a long outfit. And when she came, right now, practically, she's wearing like a bikini. All uh, spaghetti straps, everything's short, cleavage, and hands and legs, and no modesty at all. And a ton of paint on her face. Some people call that boya. Yeah, so those are the American girls. They come, and not to mention, they put their, they have no respect for their husbands, uh, who treat them with, bring them everything that they want and more. They have no respect for the whole family. He'll, he'll, this Muslim man who brought her from the, her country will buy her a house, he'll get her a car. He'll let her go to school. He will give her every opportunity there is available. And yet, she takes full advantage, and she takes advantage of it in a negative way. Like, I can do whatever I want. I get to go out with my friends and stay up all night. And my husband doesn't get a say in anything. He's left with the kids. I'm going to throw the kids right at him. Because I'm practically single. I'm really married, but I'm going to go with my girlfriends and do whatever I want. Isn't that what American girls do? Not all, actually. Well, I, I hope you guys got the picture there. So that is what happens when a, a Muslim American citizen goes abroad and brings a Muslim bride. Thank you very much.